You know how I said that I'd probably go ahead and make separate reviews for the second deck of Joker's cards? Well, here we are with a review of Bang Pop Boom. What? A miracle. But yeah, this album. I honestly think it's a great Joker's card. Seriously, on my first listen of this album, I was thinking, eh, I'm not too sure about this one. But after every single listen, I found more shit that I liked about this record. I don't like it as much as I do with Shanger Law, because no record's gonna top that, unless it's really something. But I'd probably put it very fucking high if I had to rank all the Joker's cards together. But you didn't come here for me to just say, oh, this sounds really good and call it a day. You came here to hear me explain why I feel the way I do about this record. So let's move on to the track. List. The thing about this album is that the whole Bang Pow Boom collection is available in multiple different editions. The standard editions being either red, blue, or green. The only real differences is that the second track and the hint track of these editions change depending on which one you have. The CD that I ordered is the blue one, so the second track is Beautiful Doom, and the hint track is Over a Bitch. The red and green ones, however, have different songs in their place. Though, really, you probably won't need to buy all three collections unless you're a collector, since the only real differences are the two songs. Songs, and if you have the nuclear edition of this album, the second tracks of all editions are combined into one, so that's neat. But on to some of the songs that span between all the editions. In Your Face is a great juggle anthem that will definitely have the audience of their live show screaming IN YO! Face. The Bone is an entertaining story track of Violent J running away from police and killing people along the way. It has this weird surf rock instrumental and I absolutely love it. Zombie Slide is a fucking banger. Like, it's an ICP dance track, but it sure as hell kicks a lot of ass. I Found the Body is a song about how Violent J finds a dead body which he turns into a friend. It's mainly sung all the way through, which is weird for ICP, but I still really enjoy it nonetheless. Juggle Island is very... Very not ICP, but god damn it, I love this song. Just so catchy and relaxing that it puts me in a good mood every time I listen to it. I mean, tell me you can't sing along with that fucking chorus. I juggle on my That's what I thought. Vultures is an underrated as fuck song about people who take money from those who are dead, and not to mention the flows at certain points are perfect, and Bang Pow Boom is a great track that almost has a sort of theatrical vibe, which I really fucking like. And those aren't the only good songs on the album, every track has something good about them. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention that this album has the song Miracles, which has become a meme courtesy of Shaggy 2 Dope asking, Fucking Magnus, how do they work? Say what you want about this song, but I absolutely love it, especially especially because of the beat and that guitar solo near the end. However, I think what makes this album really work as a whole is its concept. For those of you who don't know, the concept of Bang Pow Boom is that every so often, the titular character comes into the Dark Carnival, the place that ICP has said is the place you go after you die, and creates an explosion due to overcrowding. Not all of the songs have to do with this concept, aside from the intro, Beautiful Doom, and the title track, but there is an ongoing plot in this album in the form of skits. For the end of some tracks on this album, a bunch of bad people are asked to go to Ash, Nevada, but little do they know is that this is a place where they're gonna get blown up, as demonstrated in the title track. I like how ICP set up all these skits and connected them to later events in the album. I think that's pretty fucking innovative, not gonna lie. But yeah, overall, I love Bang Pow Boom. It has a bunch of songs with a wide range of styles, and if I had to rank this along with the Joker's cards that I talked about in my first video about ICP, this album would probably be in between Shangri-La and the Amazing Jekyll Brothers. It's not nearly as good as Shangri-La, a lot, but damn is it close. Anyways, that's all I have to say. This has been Slayer, signing out.